Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Joe Scully, the executive chef and owner of Chestnut, a new restaurant on Biltmore Avenue, is here with us. You've got a little bit of a different menu at this restaurant. Yes. Tell us what you're doing. It smells fantastic already. Well, we're, we're thinking of spring. We're thinking light. We're thinking healthy. Um, things that are going to be uh, quick to make, but also really, really good. And the only way you can do that is through really, really committed flavors. And what we're doing today is we're doing an herb seared chicken skewer, which you can do right on your griddle or you can do it um, you can do these on the grill. People like to do these skewers on the grill. Problem is if you use wooden skewers, they burn. I've done that before. I know yeah. that firsthand. Not very good. Not a good plan. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it felt like a good idea when we went into it. Anyway, so I season with salt and pepper. The herbs are rosemary, sage, thyme, oregano, nice, hearty, heavy herbs. So because it's such a simple item. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to serve this on a, on a salad. and. Rather than do your boring old Caesar salad, we decided that we would do something a little bit nicer. So we got chiffonade of romaine, which you just take romaine and just slice it real thin. Okay. Walnuts, which we toasted in a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. Grape tomatoes, which are ubiquitous these days. They're everywhere. And the thing about these is that they really do taste good. I love grape tomatoes. A lot of stuff that they have in the supermarket sometimes in the off months doesn't really taste that great. But I'll tell you, these grape tomatoes are wonderful. Then you put in a little bit of Italian vinaigrette. Now you use Parmesan, yes? Yes. Parmesan cheese. Yeah, this is okay. shaved Parmesan. Shaved. Sorry, my fault. No, it's okay. I'm just checking everything you're doing here. Yeah. And then you just toss this together. I'm glad you are. Someone's <laughs> got to keep an eye I'm on I'm paying you. attention over here. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to simply set this up as a salad right on the middle of the plate. If you want to get fancy, you can put a little round uh, mold and make it all pretty looking and make it all high. So a little bit of shaved Parmesan on the inside. A little bit of shaved Parmesan on top, and you're ready to go. You can see that these are really cool looking pieces of Parmesan, aren't yeah. they? Okay, here's the deal. You buy a chunk of Parmesan, you use your peeler, and you just go like this, and it gets these really cool looking pieces of Parmesan. And it's one of those, how the heck did they do that things? So now you all know, and you can do it for folks at home. Now, if you buy a chunk of Parmesan like this, how long will it last? I mean, do you have to go through this pretty quick, or is this cheese something that you can... No, you can keep it. Uh, the Parmesan has already been aged 18 months, very dry. It's also better for you than those richer, creamier cheeses, and that's why we're using it here, to keep this really light. Okay. So then you can see through the miracle of television that we have some lovely cooked chicken skewers right here, and these are about one ounce to one and a half ounce per skewer, so this is a nice portion and that's a simply, that's it. It's that's beautiful. It yeah, you like that? I do, and super healthy. Yes, it really is. It really is. I mean, it's very simple, and wow, you I wish you could smell it. It smells so good with those fresh herbs, and fresh herbs are key, right? Absolutely. Don't use dried herbs if you can avoid it. Okay. Yep. Let's get you guys a recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That, of course, is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville 28803. Some very simple, fantastic dishes that are going to be light on your stomach. And healthy. And then you can have dessert if you don't want to be that healthy, right? Yeah, that's what then I... Then you can splurge on the other end. And that's why I eat healthy, so I can have dessert. All right. Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> and that's what's cooking today in the Carolina Kitchen.